Marcus Lattimore, running back. After spending the 2013 season on the non-football entry list with the 49ers, Marcus Lattimore realized that he would not be able to perform on an NFL field. Tweeting his official statement of retirement, Marcus says it's time to end his professional career. Marcus was not able to fully recover from a knee injury he suffered in 2012. USC trainer Clint Haggard was the first out on the field when Lattimore got hurt. Um, and as soon as I went to stabilize it, he had, he had dislocated his knee, and so his knee actually went back into place before I actually touched it. And like I said, Marcus was upset. Um, and, and, and me knowing him and knowing his history and all that kind of stuff, that became my focus more on him as a person. It was right here where Marcus suffered that second knee injury. And it was also right here where not only several of his teammates, but teammates from the opposite team would pour onto the field in respect for Marcus. The crowd would cheer for Marcus in a standing ovation as he was carted off the field, his head covered in a towel. Former USC quarterback and voice of the Gamecocks Todd Ellis was in the press box on that day. Oh no, this is going to hurt his NFL chances. And then number two, just so hurt because we all had known what he did to get back from the previous injury. Despite Lattimore's second severe knee injury, the 49ers drafted him in the fourth round of the 2013 draft, which to some was a surprise. Again, I'm shocked. Never seen an example of it ever. You almost could not blame the NFL if they didn't do that. We're not talking about $2,000 a week. We're talking about several hundred thousand dollars they put into Marcus Lattimore. Now, is he worth that? Of course Marcus is. Lattimore's injury resulted in him falling from a consensus first round pick with a projected monetary loss of at least $5 million. Marcus says he plans to return to the University of South Carolina to finish his degree in public health. Head coach Dee Spurrier said he reached out to Marcus. I told him he's got a home back here in Columbia, University of South Carolina, and he knows that. So hopefully he'll be back uh, soon, uh, probably uh, try to graduate starting class in January. Lattimore's agent, Michael Peard, says that he will seek his $1.7 million insurance policy. Michelle Torres, Carolina News.